Hello students, welcome to Vedantu Neat English. I am Ms. Gopika, your own biology master teacher. So I have come here to give you all a very important information. What are the things that you are supposed to carry to your NEET examination and what are the prohibited things? Because in case if you carry any of the prohibited things, then there is very, very light chance that you will enter the examination hall. And students, see before the exam, our mind should be very you know peaceful and calm you do not want to make a chaos there so that's always better that you see what are the things that are right that what are the things that can be taken into the examination on hall and what are the things that we cannot take okay so let's directly dive into the video and see what are the first things that you have to like take without fail okay don't worry about the entire paragraph i'm going to tell you exactly what you're supposed to take first of all you need admit card and admit card will be released on may 1st is what the date is given so we can expect you know 30th or May 1st the admit card to be released once the admit card releases there are some formalities that you have to do so once the admit card gets released we will be definitely putting that also on the channel as well so don't worry about that then students you need to carry passport size photo now as I always tell you before also please take 10 passport size photo when you're going to take because the same background the same dress has to be maintained so why would you take every time 2 3 again go and take 2 3 so it's better you take 10 passport size uh, size photo which will also help you in counseling so the same passport uh, size photo has to be used that you have filled in the application form as well then one very important thing when many of the students miss is that you should have a postcard size photo which is four into six colored photograph with white background okay on your performa so here the most important thing is you have to have a postcard photo so last time we showed you the postcard photo it's a bigger photo it's not your small photo okay so it's a postcard size photo and if you go to the you know to any of the studio they will give you a postcard size photo just make sure that it is in a white background that is one thing that is compulsory again signature on it and other things we will tell you once the admit card is released so these are the three major things that you have to take then apart from the students candidate must have any of the valid id card it could be your Aadhaar card, it could be a PAN card, it could be even your school certificate that is your marks card where your name is eligible, your date of birth is very clearly visible and there is no difference in the name that you have entered. Some students would have cha changed the name in the application form and the Aadhaar card it might be different. If such a thing is there, we have told you before also, please go and change it, get it rectified from the uh, Bangalore one or any of the places. Now here it is Bangalore one, I do not know about your places but there will be a place where you can change your Aadhaar card name okay according to uh, or change your application name or something like that okay so please take a valid id proof and for uh, pwbd uh, students okay uh, yeah pwbd students candidates must carry their certificate so if you have given other than the general category students if any of the categories you have ticked into you should have a certificate for that as well so these are the four things that you cannot miss okay entering you have to take all these things if you want to get into the examination hall now more details on this students we will definitely post it after the admit card is released okay after the admit card is released now additional things that you can carry is that a ballpoint pen see nta is going to provide a ballpoint pen but in case somewhere in the middle it does not write properly or something happens happens then it is always good that you also carry a pen okay so always carry a black pen okay usually NTA will give you a black pen so carry a ball point pen no gel pens are allowed no ink pens are allowed and students if you want to carry your own water bottle many of the students do not like when to drink from other water bottles so please carry a transparent water bottle and if you have any medical condition like you have uh, diabetic you have thyroid you have BP any kind of issues that you have Please go an hour ago, that is around 11.30, 12, you, ha you have to be in the center. Please go an hour ago and please tell them that you have a medical condition. Take a certificate or take anything that will prove your medical condition because you will have the diagnosis uh, result and all. No, You can take that, you can show that you have this medical condition and you need to chew some chocolate or you need to have glucose, something like that, any kind of conditions or you feel that ma'am my BP was low on the starting day of the exam, on the first day of the exam and I feel uh, tensed. So I need to carry a glucan D tablets or let's say the powder. You can make a request in the examination hall but not just 5 minutes, 15 minutes before the exam. It has to be 1 hour before the exam. Clear to all of you? 
So, and also for students who have any other thing, like you have a metallic uh, substance in your body, okay, it could be you had a surgery, you have a rod on your leg or something like that, which would be detected by a metal detector, then metal detector detects it and then you go for an explanation will take a lot of time. So, instead of wasting your time, please again go in prior, tell that because of this medical condition, you have this or uh, this on your, uh, you know, in your body anywhere, because of which I will need the permission. Definitely, they will give you the permission. But all of this has to happen one hour before the actual time okay so that way the you know the entire uh, confusions can be avoided so then students other valid id proof other than your other card and pan card if you want to carry anything else also you can carry that is government issued photo identification also is acceptable okay clear to all of you so next thing students what are the things that are prohibited completely you're not supposed to take and go into the examination hall First of all, stationary items. You know only one pen is allowed. No pencil, eraser, sharpener, compass, none of that is allowed. Okay. Second thing, students, electronic gadgets. Very clearly, we have mentioned also, you can check our dress video and that also we have told what are the things that are prohibited and what are the things that you have to carry into the examination hall. Okay. So, you cannot take watch, digital watch, nothing is allowed. There will be a clock in the examination hall. So, you have to what, uh, you know, look at the time from there itself. No Bluetooth device, no smartwatch, calculators, no bags, pouches, wallets, no stationary box or jewelry. Jewelry means you're not supposed to wear anything that will get detected, okay, from a metal detector, including your nose pin has to be removed. And if there is any student, some of the girls, what happened, nose pin gets stuck. It cannot be removed easily. That students also please go a little prior to the time and show that you know your nose pin has got stuck. You cannot remove it or removing it will lead to closing immediately. So please make sure that you're putting something like a I think some people put this tulsi stick and all that just so that the nose pin doesn't the, the hole doesn't get closed. Okay, so you can do something like that or you can directly go and take permission that I want to wear my nose pin. I cannot remove it because it's blocked. Okay, it's not removable. So something like that also you can please go prior. But other than that, in not None of the jewelries are allowed. No ring, chain, no earring, nothing is allowed. Next students, footwear and foot, shoes and anything close like your Crocs or shoes or your what is that ballet shoes all that is not allowed anything that will close your foot is not allowed foot items not allowed now i told you if you are a diabetic patient if you have bp or if you have thyroid any kind of medical condition where you need to consume a chocolate to maintain your sugar levels or something like that please take prior permissions they will allow it inside okay then students printed or written materials you know you're going into a competitive exam no papers no uh, nothing should be written on your hand dress anywhere so that is why dress code also is very very mandatory here let me just give you a gist of the dress code we have done a detailed video from a shopping mall for you so you can exactly see what is allowed and what is not allowed okay again students boys must wear light colored half sleeve shirt or t-shirt uh, big buttons or pockets are not allowed May just go for a simple one okay like zudio and all you get the simple one a plain one just go for that okay like a pyjama one okay, which you wear at home without any print plain one no buttons no pockets that one you can allow and pants also you can have a simple trouser which does not have a lot of pockets okay it cannot be a cargo it cannot be a joggers which has a lot of uh, you know pockets it can be a track pant but again track pants shouldn't have those uh, metal uh, you know tying portion or a um, buttons or something it should be just a normal pant again the one that you wear at home without much pockets okay and students footwear also only plain slippers are allowed you call that what hawaii slippers only that is allowed again prints shouldn't be there on the slippers it can be a simple plain slippers okay now going to the girls one again girls are also allowed to wear white sorry light color thing if you're a uh, girl who does not like to wear uh, short tops or anything you can wear a simple kurti again it should not be full sleeves try to find like a semi i think half sleeves also you can find it without much border students like this like this collars will not be allowed you cannot have all these designs okay you cannot have all a lot of floral patterns not allowed simple dresses are allowed again pants also same thing you can wear the churidar pants which does not have any pockets does not uh, have those wrinkles and tyings and complications shouldn't be there simple pants are allowed and students, um, 
no embroidery frills or works okay big buttons not allowed then students accessories in footwear same thing goes for you also normal slippers are allowed no shoes no ballet shoes no silhouettes nothing are allowed just simple slippers that you wear at home okay i hope this is clear to all of you so these are about the footwear now students a very very happy thing for all of you is that we are coming to chennai and hyderabad on 11th and mostly on 17th or 18th to hyderabad so all you have to do is there's a link given in the description box so click on the link fill your details you will get to meet all of us okay and you are going to get career counseling you are also going to get uh, you know whatever you wanted to talk to us for this long okay because you were there for us for one year of your need journey and if you want to meet us talk to us take photos with us everything will be happening on 11th in chennai ananagar center vlc center and 18th or 17th of may in hyderabad we will confirm the date to you on vedantu need english telegram channel so that's it from my end students i hope all of it uh, information is clear the moment admit card gets released we will definitely make a video on what are the things that you need to fill how you should fill how you should do the sign and everything okay so i hope this is clear thank you so much for joining see you all in next class